everyone. I'm so glad you're joining us today. My name is Eileen and this month we are talking about the theme of integrity. Integrity is choosing to live truthfully in whatever you say and do. It is possible for us to live honestly and to be true. It takes dropping the act. We need to be who we are and choose to follow God wherever we go. Let's take a look at this month's memory verse. Anyone who lives without blame walks safely. Anyone who takes a crooked path will get caught. Proverbs 10, 9. Move up. Still moving? Yes. Okay. Okay. Step up. Step up. Yes. Okay, hold on. Move oh. your foot forward. A little bit further, uh -huh, uh -huh. and now move your other foot forward. Okay, hold on. And there. Okay, okay. Whew. We made it. Yeah. Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, yes, hello. We are talking about trust today, and my daughter here had me trust her to bring me into the studio. Yup, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, except I almost tripped on that stool right there. That would have been classic. Maybe for you, but I would have fallen on my face. Well, I thought this would be a great way to introduce the idea of trust. You know, because to be led somewhere without seeing what's all around you can be a bit scary. That's true. Yep, that's why I had you do it, Mom. <sighs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. Oh, sure, anytime. So let's talk about our story today. Our story today has to do with trust both trust in God and broken trust between people. So let's meet the people in our story today from 2 Kings 5. Juliana, would you do the honors? Absolutely. The prophet Elisha, his servant Gehazi, the king of Israel, the servant girl captured by the armies of Aram. Finally, we have Naaman, a general in the army of Aram. They were an enemy of Israel. Naaman had a very serious problem. He had a skin disease called leprosy. So even though he was a general, he had a very hard life. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jen Naaman, you know, it's too bad you don't live in my country. Are you talking to me? What do you mean it's too bad I don't live in your country when Damascus is the greatest country in the world? World. What I mean is nobody can cure your skin. Well, of course nobody can cure it. Yes, somebody can. Somebody in my country. Really? I would have said anything otherwise. Well, if that's true, then I had better go right away. Thanks, girl. Naaman went to the king of Aram to get permission to go see the king of Israel. The king of Aram sent Naaman to Israel with bags of silver, gold, and a lot of clothing. While well, Naaman arrived in Israel and went straight to the king of Israel to get healed. Yo, king, I have been sent here with these gifts of silver and gold and clothing and this letter from my king asking you to heal me of leprosy. What is the meaning of this? I am not a god that can bring the dead back to life. How can I heal you? You insult me. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, king, I, I, I have this note, right? It's, uh. Oh, great king, please send Naaman to my house so that the Lord God may heal him. Fine. Get out of here. That was close. Whew, very close. So Naaman packed up all of his stuff and went to see Elisha. I think Naaman was starting to get a bit annoyed with all this running around. Mm -hmm, no doubt. But he was here to get a miracle, so Naaman pressed on. Elisha, Elisha. Yes, Gehazi. The man from Aram, you remember that guy? He's here to be healed. Ah, uh, yes, good. Here, these are my instructions for him. Aren't, aren't you gonna go out and meet him? I mean, he's traveled a really long way. Hmm. No, this is a matter for God. Just tell him what's written there. If he follows God's instructions, he will be healed. Okay. Naaman, 
Naaman, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, so uh, I got some instructions for you. Uh, right, um, you're gonna bathe seven times in the, uh, uh, in the Jordan River. Um, what? Do you know who I am? Do you not know that I am the favorite general of the king of Aram? Why do I have to wash in that dirty river? Why can't I go back to Damascus? To the clean water? Well, I mean, it, it just... And where is Elijah? Why isn't he out here himself? Well, what an insult. I am out of here. I... Wait, so that's it after all that? Oh no. So Naaman's servants actually did convince Naaman to wash in the Jordan River. Basically, they said, look, it's not that hard and what could it hurt? And then what happened? Naaman was healed and he was so excited that he went back to Elisha. Yo, Elijah. Yes, hello. It worked. Praise God, I'm glad for you. Hey, I've been traveling all over with this gold and silver and clothing. Please, I want you to have it as a gift from me. Oh no, thank you, I can't. I'm only a servant of God. But, but you have to let me thank you somehow. Then thank the Lord God of Israel. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. From now on, I am going to worship no other God but yes. Good. Now go in peace. Naaman! 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 What's up? Is uh, <laughs> something wrong? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Uh, something came up. Some prophets. Some uh, prophets came by and uh, we, we need some extra clothes and maybe money. I'm all too happy to give. Here, take this. <laughs> Here you go. Now, you make sure you tell Elijah thanks again from me. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, Gahazi. Hey, uh, um, Eli Elisha. What's, uh, what's going on? Where have you been? Ah, uh, you know, nowhere in particular. Have a seat. I'm so disappointed in you. Don't you know, my spirit was with Naaman. I know what you did. I know you lied and stole, and in my name and God's. After all you've seen, you should know that God would take care of us. Now, because you've broken the trust God had in you, you and your family will have the same disease Naaman had. Gehazi's lie may have gained him some new clothes, but it did cost him Elisha's trust. He also got an awful skin disease for the rest of his life. When we're dishonest, we lose trust. It's very important that we make the wise choice and live truthfully. When we're dishonest, we could hurt the people we care about the most. Let's pray and ask God to help us to live truthfully. Dear Jesus, it is not easy to always choose to live truthfully. We need your strength. Help us be brave and courageous. Let us say when we've done something wrong, let us be quick to repent. We need your help, Lord, and thank you that you're always there to give it. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name and all God's people everywhere said, Amen. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you have an excellent week. 
And we'd also like to invite you, if you and your family would like to be part of making these children's ministry videos, we'd love to have you. Simply reach out to me at the address below. Have a great week. Bye-bye.